Welcome back, and today I just wanted to talk about a new app that I recently discovered. Uh, it's kind of like an antivirus app, uh, or more of a anti-malware, anti-adware app uh, for macOS. It's called Detect X, and let's just jump right into it, and we can kind of look at it together. Uh, it is uh, by the developer Squark, S-Q-W-A-R-Q. Uh, you can visit their website.com, check it out. There's actually a bunch of other cool tools and utilities for macOS, but I want to focus on this one specifically. So DetectX kind of falls into the ballpark of uh, Adware Medic uh, from a couple of years back. Um, more recently now, there has been EtriCheck or EtriCheck. And this is just another competitor in uh, that realm of uh, applications. Uh, one of the great things about it is that it's free for home use. Uh, they do suggest uh, you know, that, that you support them. I suggest it as well. I think it's uh, great that they're providing this for, for free and you can get unlimited kind of seats with the purchase of kind of one license, which is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, for what it does, uh, really, really awesome app. Uh, let's download it and open it up and then we'll kind of take a look at it together. I've already got it downloaded here. Uh, I'll also put the link in the description for you. But you can mount the DMG and then it's one of the drag and drop apps. There isn't any kind of uh, you know installation or package or anything that you have to kind of worry about there. So just drag it right in. All right, I have it here on my dock. And excuse my voice, <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with a cold or something along those lines. And uh, once you launch the app, it'll actually automatically scan and search for you. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is how quickly it scans. Uh, this literally took maybe seven, maybe not even seven seconds to do it. The uh, reason for that is uh, there is no kind of graphical user interface that it has to render and kind of show you the directories that it's searching and the files that it's checking for. Uh, with, uh, let's say, Adwarematic and uh, EtriCheck, or, you know, Adwarematic doesn't really exist anymore. It's uh, malware bytes now because they've been taken over by a bigger company, but not to get uh, sidetracked. Uh, it doesn't have to show you the graphical kind of interface of what's exactly happening. So without that, boom, it just, you know, the code kind of runs through and it kind of throws the results at you, which is, uh, you know, saving a lot of time instead of having to, you know, kind of load everything and show you the graphical side of it, uh, which is, you know, really unnecessary. Um, so here it says, hey, thanks for, for using it. Are you using this for home or are you going to use it for other? And then you have the option to enter the key here. Uh, so I'll hit home. It'll pop up their website and, you know, kind of say, hey, we suggest that you buy it. It'll say you are entitled to use the DetectX Swift on an unlimited number of machines. So as long as the computers are personally owned by you or your family and just kind of giving you that kind of rundown of information. All right. And let's minimize this. And close that out. Okay, so uh, right now my machine is clean. There aren't any kind of threats or anything detected. One thing uh, you'll notice here is something called uh, profile. So one of the reasons why you would need this information uh, as soon as it loads up here, uh, it goes through everything, kind of gives you a timestamp, uh, gives you a hardware overview, uh, your sharing preferences, uh, your third-party kecks that you have loaded, login items, launch daemons, launch agents, and all of this information is really useful if you are having an issue with your computer and you can't figure out what's going on. You can uh, click the share button right here and it'll actually let you send a sanitized report or copy a sanitized report to your clipboard so that if you're on one of these forums, for example, like on Mac Rumors or uh, Apple support communities, uh, the people there who are experts I can use this info to kind of say, oh, well, here, your problem is related to this and this, or, you know, you should change this setting and that'll fix your problem. But essentially, it kind of generates a report that you can share, uh, you know, with a support community to kind of get you to a resolution. So that's a pretty awesome kind of feature there. Now, let's go see if we can kind of take a look at what other kinds of things DetectX uh, will locate. All right. So DetectX Swift, and the Swift is referenced to the programming language that it's uh, developed in. So it will detect uh, destabilizing software. 
potentially unwanted software, uh, adware and malware. So let's uh, kind of read up on what this is. So PDS is potentially destabilizing software. Vendors often claim their products can speed up or clean a Mac by removing caches, whereas the reality is that regularly uh, purging caches doesn't exact, does exactly the opposite. The whole purpose of a cache is to make loading frequently needed data faster. So uh, PDS, you can kind of think of that as uh, MacKeeper. Um, that's probably one of the biggest uh, kind of culprits there. And then uh, potentially unwanted software is applications may in some cases expose user information to unknown or unauthorized parties or perform unexpected actions. So sometimes you might install something like, uh, you know, uh, Mac update or something along those lines where you think Mac update is just helping you update your apps. But in reality, it's actually sending, you know, potentially keylog information or something along those lines to third parties to sell for, you know, marketing reasons or whatever. And then adware, of course, you we've all seen this. Uh, if you're in your web browser, you'll see pop ups coming up. Uh, those are usually like in launch agents launch or launch daemons. Uh, those will be removed as well. Okay, and the mall category also includes key loggers. So key loggers, you are really dangerous because if you use your computer to buy stuff online and you type in your credit card often that will actually get caught in there so it'll log every key you press and then transfer that data over to somebody else so super powerful uh tool uh you know works super fast i'm really really impressed with the performance i'm looking forward to using this on a mac and seeing what it can actually pick up on so you never know when you might run into something um, so, so far, uh, really liking what this guy, uh, what, you know, this developer has put out here. Uh, looking forward to seeing more from them. I uh, hope you guys check them out. I'm, I'm in no way affiliated or have I ever been uh, paid or anything like that. This is just an app that I came across on the web and I just wanted to share it with everyone. So, thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.